All right, everybody, this is gonna be part two of my update video. I'll probably upload these separately. First was the Memphis Motor video, and now is the for sale video. First thing on the list here, we have a Memphis Q1. It's an absolute flawless mint condition. I have tested the driver, tested it for a few minutes. Flawless mint condition. This will be going for sale, $325 shipped. Just shipping the driver alone is going to cost me roughly 50 bucks, fellas, because it is a very heavy driver. It's a very heavy woofer. So, that's the price on the Memphis Q1. Next on the list, I'm going to be selling my Eclipse 5506. It is also in flawless mint condition. I gave $670 for that head unit. It is one of three. Virgil has the other two. One is behind the glass in the shop, and one is on the outside podium of Steve Cook's van with the 818s. So, that head unit is 8 volt pre out. This is the one that was in my vehicle for a short amount of time. Flawless mint condition. Uh, I'm selling that one because now I currently have the uh, CD700 uh, Mach 2. So that's going to be going in uh, probably in about two weeks from now. So I am going to be selling the previous head unit. Now, the issue with the head unit, why I'm selling it. For one, I don't have the ability to use a USB. It will play MP3, uh, WMA, things like that. Uh, another issue with the head unit is once you hit a 51, it will start to skip. So, if you have a crazy loud, stupid system, it's not the head unit for you. If you're doing an SQ build or you want to use it for a podium, something like that, from outside the vehicle, it's an almost an unbeatable head unit. With that being said and out of the way, I will be selling the Eclipse 5506 for 300 bucks shipped. 325 shipped on the Memphis Q1. These right here are two of my Stinger SPP 2150s. I did have four. Two of them are already sold. These are the other two right here. These two particular batteries saw maybe 10 hours of use. So these two batteries right here are going to be going for sale. Uh, 300 bucks a piece shipped. These are the big boys. These are the SPP 2150s. There's some specs for you. For anyone that's in the know, you guys already know what those batteries are capable of, and that is a stupid good price. Those are going for sale. Next thing on the list, I'm gonna be letting go of my other Hollywood 4 channel. This is the stock model right here. This is a bad boy, one ohm stable on all channels. She's in mint, flawless condition. I did give exactly $1,000 for this amplifier right here. I'm gonna be letting this go for three and a quarter shipped. Again, I'll say again, it is one ohm stable, all channels. This one burped 45s and 46s off a single channel. Okay, that's off one channel, fellas, a one ohm. Tube amp, four channel tube amp. Sound quality, as far as the amplifier is concerned, is very warm. It's an excellent amplifier, excellent amplifier. So, Hollywood Ford channels out of the way. Next on the list is my Mats 2000.05. This one is also brand new. I did test it. It has less than five minutes play time on it. Mint, absolute mint, flawless condition. This amplifier averages for sale brand new like this, six, maybe $700 on eBay. Um, I'm gonna be letting that one go for also 300 bucks shipped. Again, that's the Mats 2000.05. That is a monster of an amplifier right there, fellas. Upon request, if you want an amp guts, I'm more than willing to give you an amp guts. Next on the list, uh, oh yeah, I got my Memphis 4 channel over here. I'm going to be selling it. This one right here, I gave like 500 something bucks for it. I think uh, maybe 550, 560. She's an absolute mint, flawless condition. This amplifier right here has probably seen about two hours play time. <sighs> Sorry that it's covered in dust, but there she is. Got a little piece of chocolate right here on it. I'll have to wipe that off, but flawless mint condition. There's the Memphis, it's the 4x125. Let me zoom in for you fellas. All right. Hell of an amplifier for those of you familiar with it. Yes, actually that's the same amplifier for my Amp Guts video. Uh, next on the list, I highly doubt I'm gonna sell this bad boy here, although I have quite a few of you inquire about it. Um, it's one hell of a 3K, so I doubt I'm going to sell my mats. Uh, there's a possibility I may run four of these. One per woofer because I am going with 415s. And then again I may just run the single big boy. I'm not sure. That 
still up in the air. That'll be uh, for a future video, but I know a couple of you called dibs on that, so and I know you guys are going to ask in the comments, so I'm just telling you ahead of time. I don't know if I'm going to sell that or not. I'd really rather not. At the moment, I'm undecided, so I'm going to leave that for a later video. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's everything for now. There's going to be other stuff. This shit right here is going to be for free. If anybody wants these Eclipse motors, they're free. You can have them. You just pay the shipping. There's two of them. You want recones? I don't know. Maybe contact David PSI. He can probably get you some recones. There's some Hollywoods over here. These will be for free. These do have uh, some rather strong little motors on them. Uh, these are for free. Anyone wants them? Basket of motor. There you go. Let's zoom in. Get you a little view of it. So, these Hollywood motors are free. Anyone wants them, you guys can pick them up. You pay the shipping, they're yours. Uh, let's see. With all that stuff out of the way. My jugs, I do believe I'm not going to sell them. These are the ones I rebuilt that day, the ones I had a wall socket to get working. There's one. There's the other one over there. I did pull out the soft parts on that because I am going to be reconing it uh, with my own parts. So, that's going to be an update uh, for a future vid. Now, as far as trades, I'm honestly not interested in anything except some jug motors. Anyone who has some jug motors, uh, PM me, we can talk. You know, leave it in the comments, whatever. You know, I don't have any issues trading a brand new woofer for a couple of uh, motors. So, with that being said, now out of the way, I do bless everything I have for sale, and I do believe this will be my final for sale video. As, uh, yeah. So, next video is going to be some straight subwoofer technology. Uh, some stuff I'm going to be pulling out of my book right here. Yeah. Going to be uh, going over some subwoofer technology here. All right, so that's the next video. Thanks for watching, y'all. Peace. Now I put such care.